Hello everyone! Today we've got a very special mod involving Jazz to try out, but I've got to warn you, it's probably going to be a lot more inappropriate than my usual videos, so if that's going to be a problem, click away now. Okay, now that no one's clicked away, let's go find Jazz and get started. Alright, hello, good morning Jazz. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. And what big eyes you have this morning, that's a new portrait. And I'm not allowed to talk to strangers anymore, but I still do. The best part about this mod? So many heart events, I can't wait to get started. Heart event number one. Aw, oh, she's so innocent skipping beside the tree. She's got great energy for a two-year-old. Hi. Hi. Oh, don't stop at my account. You look like you're having fun. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I've been really rude to you. I've never talked to you in my life. Except for this morning. Aunt Marnie says that I shouldn't talk to strangers, so I didn't talk to you. And I liked it better when you didn't speak to me, to be honest. But you seem nice. Well, clearly you haven't heard what the town says about me. Say, what do you think of the town? Uh, they're great. Um, it's wonderful. There's lots of people for me to marry there. Really? I'm so happy you like it. I promise I'll try to be nice too from now on. You're always nice, little girl. Well, things are going from zero to creepy really fast. I can't wait to see where this goes. Anything more to add to that, creepy strange girl? One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. Okay, I'm going to stop being mean to the child and we'll move on. Two heart jazz. Fittingly, one for each of us. Aw, the kids are playing by the playground. Okay, let's race now. I bet you can't beat me. You're playing with fire, kid. Prepare to lose. Awfully competitive. The kid's way faster. She had no chance. Ouch. Oh, she fell and hurt herself. That's amusing. Are you alright? Your knee is bleeding. It hurts a bit. That's what happens when you fall down. Toughen her up. I'm gonna... Ignore the kids. They can handle this on their own. Gotta teach them to deal with adversity. I'll have to go back to Auntie's farm. Guess we'll continue playing tomorrow. I feel like I made the right choice there. Let's replay this day. Rewind. Blah blah blah. Two hearts. Oh, that poor little girl. We better help her. And clearly it's important because I'm in such a hurry about it. Um, do you have a band-aid, Mr. Mumps? Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't. Because I wasn't just watching children play from behind a bush. This is creepy in a few levels. Please help me put it on my knee. Okay. Let's make the other kid do it instead. Now I have to walk. This is way too much effort already, little girl. Awkward silence. Thank you, Mr. Mumps. You're welcome. I've decided that Mr. Mumps spends entirely too much time watching children. But the town already hates him thanks to all the marrying and divorcing going on, so whatever. Three heart creepy jazz. At the museum, where she's probably studying innocently, no doubt. She looks concerned. I'm probably once again viewing from a distance because I don't see myself. Hmm, I don't really get it. Oh, there I am. I was just casually hiding behind the bookcase for no reason. I don't even know how to read. Oh, hi, Mr. Mumps. Hi again. Stop calling me Mr. I'm having some trouble with my homework. That's because you're slow. I can help you with your homework. I think the better option is to interact with the child this whole way that will get the best experience. Really? Thank you. The topic today? Divorce. Okay, here's what I'm having trouble with. Okay, I already want to turn her into a dove. I've had enough of this interaction. Now I get it. Thanks for helping me, Mr. Mumps. I'll see you around then. I bet Miss Penny will be surprised that I managed to do it. With some help. Uh, don't tell Miss Penny we were together, seeing as I recently divorced her and her mom. And pretty much everyone else you can think of. Anything to say now that you're a little bit smarter? I really like playing with my jumping rope. Nope, you're still pretty dense. Now we get Penny involved. For heart event. In the forest. A lovely picnic. Jazz is still skipping away because that's all she's good for. Oh mumps, it's perfect timing that you showed up. Is it really? I can't wait. I brought the children on a little field trip into the countryside. Perfect. It's secluded and no one has to know. Jazz seems excited. Oh, Mr. Mumps. Hello again, stupid child. We're on a field trip. I know that nice lady literally just said that. 
Well, if you can consider this a field trip, since we're so close to Auntie's ranch. Yeah, no kidding, you're 10 meters from the doorstep. But that's cool. Um, yeah, nice field trip, idiot. You all know about life in the country, right? It's where children go missing. So I was thinking, could you be my guest speaker today? I'd love to. Though I really can't stand kids, but I'd love to. Great. Let me just call the children over. Once again, they're not very far away. I don't think Penny's very good with distance. No, let's not worry about Vincent. Let's push him into the river. Okay, we don't have that option. I have a very special guest over here to talk to you today. Our very own local farmer, Mumps. Though to be fair, I haven't really grown anything in like 40 years. He has first-hand experience living in the countryside, so he knows all about the valley's natural resources, including people, the most renewable resource of all. Jazz, could you please come here and sit near Vincent? Please go away, little girl. Go sit by your friend. Of course, Miss Penny. Can anyone tell me what a natural resource is? Children. And the children want to answer. Jazz? A natural resource is a material source of wealth that occurs in a natural state and has economic value. Very scientific. And here I was thinking she was just a moron like her little friend there. Very good. That's worth two star points, Jazz. Yes. What are star points good for, Miss Penny? Absolutely nothing. I've got at least 50 star points now, Mr. Mumps. Can I have them? I feel like I could use for those to pay for a divorce. Okay, now let's give Mumps our full attention. Country life is all about farming. The more children you can produce, the more money you can make. The valley soil is ideal for growing delicious vegetables. Yes, idiot. Thanks for interrupting. Yes, Jazz. Um, Mr. Mumps, if Vincent eats your veggies, will he grow up to be strong like his brother Sam? No. He's so strong, I saw him lift Miss Penny clear off the ground last night when they were climbing into a tree. Busted. What were you doing sitting in a tree, Miss Penny? Jazz, it's not good to gossip. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Penny. I didn't know you wanted to keep it a secret. Well, this is awkward. I'm technically dating Penny at this point. But I'm also dating everyone else at the same time, including Sam, so... You know, it just gets weirder and weirder. Well, that's probably enough for today. You two run along and play. Push the other boy into the river. She probably will. They are on the bridge. Well, this is awkward. It's a lot of work to take care of these kids. Which is why we should eliminate one. Then it's half the work. But I don't really mind. I enjoy seeing them learn. And hopefully I can help them grow up to be good people. Yeah, you probably don't want my help then. Would you ever want to be a parent, Mumps? Isn't it obvious? Uh-oh. Here comes the little one. No, I will not be your father, girl. Mr. Mumps? Could you play with us, pretty please? Go ahead, the kids really want to play with you. And I'm kind of over you, Penny, anyway, so... This could be my opportunity to eliminate one. We're gonna go scuba diving for heavy rocks. Well, I'm glad you showed up, Mumps. I think the kids had a great time. And do you have any consideration how I enjoyed that? Because that wasn't really a lot of fun. So far, things are still pretty normal. I think they're getting progressively creepier as they go. We're about to see the five heart event, and I think from here it's probably going to be a pretty quick downhill slope. Which is why it's too bad we don't have George around, because he loves steep slopes. Five heart. Jazz by the lake, looking sad. That's because she wants to go swimming. I'm going to sneak up behind and push her in. Oh, hi, Mr. Mumps. Hi again. Could you please brush my hair? God, no. Brush her hair. This is getting weird. That's like brushing a strange little girl's hair in the forest. You know, I was really wrong when I first met you. I thought that you'd be just like the other grown-ups. Well, you were wrong. I'm nothing like the other grown-ups. I'm glad you're so nice instead. I think you're misreading that part. I hope you'll stay in Stardew Valley even when I grow up. I've already been here for a hundred years. I plan to stay here. Do you? Do you promise? I'm not sure. Maybe I will leave after all. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what that was about, but this is getting creepy. Let's chase her down while we got a sec, see if there's any new dialogue. Um, do, do you want something? N no. Do, do you? 6 a.m. bright and early. Oh, hello Jazz. I don't know what you're doing here, I've already eliminated my children. Good morning, Mr. Mumps. 
Um, I wanted to give you something. I don't want it. Please go away. I should put a gate up around my house. I baked you a cake. I didn't even ask for Auntie's help. Um, here you go. So you baked a cake by yourself and now you're giving it to me. I'm a little suspicious of this pink cake with a heart on it. Would you, um, could you please taste it since I made it myself? I don't know if I did it right. That is a big red flag. If anyone ever gives you something and expects you to eat it right in front of them, be cautious. You take a small bite. There's a weird metallic aftertaste. But other than that, it's delicious. Okay, so either she added too much iron content to this cake, or there's something metal in there that's not supposed to be there. I wonder if it's pieces of wheels. That old cyborg. I'm so glad you like it. Auntie always says that food tastes better if you put a little bit of yourself in it. Okay... So now I'm guessing the iron content is blood. So I did just that. Well, great. That's a taste I'm used to. I have to go now, or Auntie might worry. Yeah, what are you doing here at the crack of dawn anyway? Goodbye, Mr. Bumps. Please just leave.